Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. I trust the Lord to minister to you this morning, to stretch his hand and touch your life and glorify himself in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we give glory, praise, honor, adoration to you. Awesome God, mighty God, glorious God, the God who answers, the God who heals. The God who delivers, the God who sets free. We magnify your name this morning, awesome God. Stretch your hand, O God, set captives free, silence the enemy, shut the mouth of devils, let somebody have victory. Let your name be glorified this morning, Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. From wherever you have joined this day, we celebrate, appreciate, thank God for you. We trust the Lord that you will be impacted. The name of the Lord will be mighty in your life. The hand of the Lord will touch you. Your life will never be the same. I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us today from wherever you have joined around the world. Get ready to be blessed of the Lord. Get ready to be healed, to be delivered, to be set free. We welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome you to Morning Glow, particularly those who are joining us for the first time. Welcome to Morning Glow. We guarantee you that the hand of the Lord will touch you and God will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you wherever you have joined from this morning. Be blessed. Be favored. Jesus' name. All right. From Liverpool, Merseyside, God bless you. KICC Chelmsford, the Lord bless you this morning. Diovu Benis, Malesh Kaye, Brano, Zande, Kalibaron, Telededa, Kaye Redosh Kiara, Yera Baba Baba, Rokaze Keyoma Talaba, we welcome you, Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. From Lagos, Nigeria, let us always know where. It's a big city. God bless you richly. Uh, KICC Maryland, Lagos, God bless you richly, Jesus' name. Um, Hackney in London, the Lord bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. Tai Miko Talambro do Zayandero Kozabakayadada. Uh, Queens in New York, the Lord bless you richly. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be victorious today. May you be blessed today. May the hand of the Lord be stretched in your life today. Palmer's Green, may you be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Uh, stand well in stains, the Lord bless you richly. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Ma yeda anteloza, ye kabaroza, teloshkai, Saint Elizabeth, Jamaica, be blessed and highly favored. Dakar in Bangladesh, God bless you richly all the way. May you be blessed and highly favored today. May the hand of the Lord bless you. Makata li kotazari kayandero talaraba kadi tolorazi. In the name of Jesus. Wood Green, blessings. Kenya, blessings. Mill Hill, that's Northwest London. The Lord bless you this morning. Vundok Namabia, God bless you richly. Jesus' name. Uh, Kenya, that's nowhere in Kenya. Kenya is big. Pitsy in Essex, God bless you. Hammersmith, God bless you richly. Praise the Lord. Ye kali tani brono zantan de leish kaye de dom brende gazala. Ne sa te so to santa ye de de kabara. Rikolo ramanze, teleremoze ya ke talaba. Receive your favor, receive your blessing this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, Warwickshire, blessings. Pretoria, South Africa, blessings. 
Peter Marisburg, South Africa, Blessings Customs House in London. God bless you. Custom House, not Customs. Used to be Customs House when shipping was at the Docklands. Kukum Lemli Accra, Blessings. Magburo Ogun State, Nigeria, Blessings. Praise the Lord. Naye Kota Lee, Brando Zonke Yante. Yeku Zobala, Teku Hokayeraba, Nebro Zayen de Bronda, Lero Talada, Neku Zombre do Shikaye. In the name of Jesus, somebody will be blessed today. Somebody will be lifted today. Somebody will be victorious today. Ne Kalababa Osha, Neku Zokaye, Nerebo Kataliba. Ne kaba kaye talito tata riba. Bed, bedworth in Warwickshire. God bless you richly. God bless you richly in the name of Jesus. May yandolo zange indali jena de dozo nantele bragos. Ne kayaba. Jesus, Jesus. Ah. Togo Lome, God bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. It's going to be great this morning. Somebody's going to be walking in victory. Uh, South Africa, Bloemfontein. Uh, the Lord bless you this morning all the way from Bloemfontein. Make sure you stay with us. I have, never seen, I have not seen Bloemfontein in a long time. Okay, Edmonton, London, the Lord bless you richly. Um, Milton Keynes again, God bless you. Kukum Limli Accra, blessings, Jesus' name. Tunbridge Wells, be blessed, be favored, be lifted. You will be blessed this morning. I just believe God for somebody. Someone in the name of Jesus, Sandi Alebaka, Terodonde, Karede Dada, Braba Babo, Sandi Alaraba. In the mighty name of Jesus, there's going to be an uncommon testimony for someone. Bangalore, India, be blessed, be highly favored. Pennsylvania, United States, blessings. Cape Town, blessings. Uh, I saw that place in Spain, didn't see it clearly, it went quick. Arusha in Tanzania. God bless you. I think the same greeting as in, I uh, think, I think, I think, uh, in Kenya. Praise the Lord. Camberwell, blessings. USA, Connecticut. The Lord bless you. Hunt Church, Essex, be blessed. I'll favor this morning. May you be lifted. May you be victorious. May the hand of the Lord bless you. Lift you up. Jesus' name. Uh, all right. Praise God. Naye Koya Sutton in sorry, God bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Uh, from Ferrara in Italy. Ferrara in Italy. I'd like to know where that is. I know a few corners in Italy. God bless you. Peace Estate, Lagos, blessings. 37 in Accra. That is uh, the name of the hospital or military barracks. Victoria in España. God bless you richly, Jesus' name. Saskatoon, in Saskatchewan. God bless you in Canada. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Bearwood, Birmingham. Be blessed and highly favored. This morning, we like to believe God that wherever you've joined from, you'll be blessed. We like to welcome Jalingo Taraba, Nigeria. Blessings. All those who are joining us from the east of the world, the Lord bless you richly. The Lord favor you. The Lord stretch his hand, prove himself as a mighty God in your life. May you experience grace. May you experience favor. May you experience uncommon testimony in your life in the name of Jesus. All those who are joining us from the east end of the, from the east end, Australia, India, Bangladesh, Singapore, um, Malaysia. The Lord bless you. Those who are joining us from the Middle East of the world. Saudi Arabia, uh, United Arab Emirates, all the Emirates, Sharjah, Fujara, 
uh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai. May you be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. All right, Austria, be blessed this morning. I like your name. Your name, Sopuru. It means to praise. All right, let's praise the Lord this morning. Like to welcome those who are from the west end of the world. May you also be blessed. May you be lifted. The west end of the world, that is all the Caribbean islands, Curaçao, uh, Suriname, Haiti, Jamaica, Grenada. God bless you richly this morning. May you be lifted. United States of America, Canada, all the various corners of East Coast America, West Coast America, uh, Western Canada, that is British Columbia, and East Coast Canada, that is Toronto and other parts. And then Saskatchewan, one of the provinces. God bless you. The whole of Europe will welcome you this morning. May blessings rest on your nations. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord be upon your nations. In the glorious name of Jesus, Belgium, United Kingdom, Netherlands, uh, Sweden, Austria, every corner of Europe. We welcome all those joining us from the whole of Africa this morning. May you be blessed. May you be lifted. May you be touched. May the hand of the Lord prove mighty in your life. Kekoson kai, rekalebozo, kaieta. May you see God in your life, in your experience. May you see His power. Somebody's on this altar today. Today is going to be a testimony day for you because the Lord is going to prove Himself. <laughs> by a mighty finger by a mighty finger by a mighty finger by a mighty finger the Lord is going to prove himself in your life people will join you in testifying testifying Ye kate to zandire da 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 ska. Ye koso la rebesha kereba. We would like to welcome you this morning from wherever you have joined. The whole of Africa, we celebrate you. West Africa, East Africa, North Africa, South Africa, be blessed, be highly favored today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning, <laughs> feel a strong leading to just really intense prophesying into your life a divine intervention of God. God is going to intervene. And then tonight, don't forget. Tonight, don't forget. Okay, no, today is Thursday. Tomorrow night is our financial breakthrough night. Yesterday night, we have financial breakthrough night. Tonight, uh, it's not evening gloom. Divine intervention. What is divine intervention? Divine intervention is a miracle or act of God which causes something to happen to stop what you don't want when there is an intervening. It means somebody came in to say, okay, enough is enough. This is what I want. This is how it should be. This is what should happen. When the enemy comes like a flood, God tells us he will intervene. He said, I will raise a standard. Hey, when the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Somebody needs an intervention this morning. Somebody needs God to step in, 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 to step in. Divine intervention is that season in your life when God himself shows his might, shows his power. Divine intervention is the involvement of God in your affairs. So that he takes over. Paka ye teka. Mare koso ye kaya. Itza ka ba 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 kosa. Divine intervention is when God says, I am God. I'm going to show that you are mine. He said, my eyes go to and fro the world. To prove myself strong and mighty on behalf of those who trust in me. So get ready. Because God is going to so intervene in your life. Oh, I feel God this morning. I feel fire, I can't believe. I've been so awake so early. I thought I need a long sleep. 
Because yesterday they are ministered and ministered and ministered, ministered in the morning, ministered here, ministered there. Didn't. But my spirit is alive to prophesy into somebody's life a divine intervention. Kutayene kaba sotilebra kolosikayana. Ye torobosia. We mosha. Ye te kaba. The divine intervention which comes from above from our God is when there is a situation which you cannot handle and God comes in for you and proves himself as a mighty God. When God comes through for you and shows himself and shows his power, that is divine intervention. And I prophesy on you today that you are going to have divine intervention. You are going to see the hand of God. You are going to see the glory of the Lord. You are going to see the power of the Lord. The enemy will be silenced for your sake. God will shut the mouth of devils for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So when God decides to intervene in your life, it will be because you are facing a situation which you cannot carry yourself. Look at me wherever you are around the world. If your child were one or two year old, you can tell them to carry this. But when that same two year old child, if you have a box of 40 kilograms, you can't tell the child of two years to carry. The child himself is not even up to that weight. So you come in, you intervene, you carry. That is divine intervention. When the load is not your load, when it is now the load of the Lord himself to carry on your behalf, to prove himself mighty and strong. That is divine intervention. When God himself has to come in to carry the load, to carry the burden, to carry the challenge, and somebody on this altar, get ready because God is going to make you an example of his intervening. God is going to make you an example of his intervening. He's going to step in. He's going to show himself. He's going to show his power. He's going to prove himself. God is going to step in and shut the mouth of devils on your behalf. That is a divine intervention. The apostles were in the boat. They could not handle the wind. They could not handle the storm. So they called unto the Lord. And when they called unto the Lord, the Bible says Jesus came and he rebuked the wind. If Jesus was not in that boat, they are gone. The, the storm was bigger than them. You see, they are fishermen. They know how to swim. But what they saw on that day was bigger than a fisherman's swim. <laughs> It was bigger than the fisherman's swim. It was bigger than they could handle by themselves. So when you face the situation you do not have an answer for, God will step in for you. Divine interventions are promised by God. He said, I will come in. I will do it. I will, I will step in myself. And so when God speaks a word, remember he's not a man that he should lie not the son of man that he should repent. He said, I will do it. And when God says, I will do it, then it means it will happen. Hallelujah. In Psalm 91 verse 14, God says to us, he says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he knows and understands my name and has a personal knowledge of my mercy, love, and kindness, trust and relies on me, knowing I will never forsake him. No, never. He shall call upon me. I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Oh, glory. What you see as trouble today, listen, listen, listen. It's about to deliver your best testimony of this year. Go and write it down. Say Matthew Ashimolo said so. What looks like trouble now? will deliver your best testimony this year. What looks like trouble now will deliver your best testimony this year. So divine intervention is when God himself 
intervenes. Well, he can send his angels, but he can also step in himself so that he shows up in his military clothes, the Lord of hosts, and intervenes and turns situations around. He said, for I have heard the cry of my people. I am sending you Moses. That was divine intervention. Because without that divine intervention, who knows, there will not be Israel because after a while, those people will just pollute the blood line of the Jews by intermarrying, taking the slaves, I mean, just pregnating their women. At some point, you just find after thousands of years, they will disappear. That's another thing about, about the Jewish man. He is a sign and the is a type is a sign that Jesus is coming. Jesus said, When you see them gather, that's a sign that I'm coming. And you know, there's no nation that can be scattered for two thousand years and they gather again. They will have become another culture. That's why you find when people do ancestry search today, they have about ten nationalities in their body. They have ten different kind of race from where they come from. But somehow God preserved the Jewish man in the majority. God is about to intervene for someone on this altar this morning. Your story is about to change. Your story is about to change. Because the God who spoke said, because you have set your love on him, he will deliver you. He will set you high. Because you know him and understand his name. He said he will never forsake you, nor and he will never leave you. Say, you, I, he shall call upon me. I will answer. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we give you praise this morning. We thank you. Because you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. Have you spoken? Will you not do it? You are God. Every knee bows to you. Every tongue confesses that you are God. This morning we come before you, King of kings, Lord of lords, awesome God, our mighty Savior our healer, our deliverer. We thank you because you said you will intervene. Upon this altar this morning we come, we thank you for interventions of the past. We bless you for the ones you have done in the past. And we know you will not lie. Jika, Koza, Brose, Kaye, Tombra, Rebosha, Kaira, Dozekia, Zira Baba Babo, Zamble Rorosha, Zalere Kepa Koza, we bless you, Jesus. We thank you for your outstretched hand to intervene. Somebody has some matters right now. God is intervening this morning. Somebody is facing situations they've never seen. God is intervening this morning. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 20. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 20. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 20. And in due time she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel. For she said, I asked the Lord for him. I asked the Lord for him. Lord, we thank you because of your love for us. We thank you because of giving us opportunity to be able to come before you. We bless your name because we can call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised so we shall be saved from our enemies. Ah, this morning upon this altar, I call upon you for somebody who needs to not be embarrassed regarding the fruit of the womb and anything they need from you. Lord, Prove it. Lord, do it. Father, intervene. Jesus, intervene. They've told the woman, you can't bear a child. <laughs> and somebody's mocking her. Penina was showing her babies, showing that she is, <laughs> she is, uh, she is fruitful and Hannah is fruitless. Ha! Ah! And the mother of Hannah, before Hannah was born, gave her a name that meant Favor, grace, and mercy. Favor, grace, and mercy. Hana, Hanania. Hana is the same word for grace. It is the same word for, for favor. Ah, God will favor you. God will favor you. God will show you grace. God will favor you. Wherever you are this morning and you join the morning glow today, ah, you will give back to your Samuel. You will give back to your Samuel. You will give back to your Samuel. 
and in due time she gave birth to a son she named him samuel for she said i asked the lord for him asked of the lord samuel l l is god asked from god <laughs> everything you have asked from god the season of your intervention Nalicia, Marikian, Tundeli, Branosia, Italish, Kayabarosha, Talere, Kabagosali, Ye Koza, Bre, Koza, Kayada, da, 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 Ne Katada, da, Torose, Kayarabo, Zendala. Breakthrough! One Samuel was more than all the children of Penina. And guess what? We don't even know their name. They fizzled into history. But one Samuel. Was enough to wipe his mother's tears. She gave birth to others. We don't even know their name, but we know Samuel. Now the master breakthrough, the master favor, the master testimony, the master breakthrough. The ma <laughs> there is a breakthrough that opens the birth canal that changes your story. There is a breakthrough that opens the birth canal and changes your story. Kainota, T and And in due time, she gave birth to a son. The word due time, there is a man. Appropriate time for it to happen. Due time. Due time. You know, when a woman is ready to give birth, we say her. She is due. She is due. Do because we know the physiology of women that nine months the baby should come plus or minus. Do time. Somebody's do time has come. You will give her. We receive our Samuel. We receive our Samuel. We receive our Samuel. Tataro Shikiada, Parike Telibara, Ratutaneria, Raturikidia, Maroto Rikisa, Hatori Makata, Ranoso Kaida, Paroto Sikia, Hitaro Nosukamari no Rosia. We receive our Samuel. She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. I asked the Lord for him. Mando se kadi shandoria, hiri alara ba 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 ba, rikuta alara mante, higi alara bosa, higi anda alara da, hiro boso tayara da ba, umpro deshkia, hira bosa, rikiranta, riboskia, raboshka, darose, hantelebo, in due time. Somebody's due time has come. In the due time, the favor that silences Penina is coming to your life. The breakthrough that shuts the mouth of critics is coming to your life. The breakthrough that brings you out of obscurity is coming to your life. The breakthrough... <laughs> oh, the Bible is just powerful. It says, I'm from Dan to Beersheba. Everyone knew Samuel as a prophet of God. <laughs> Cry no more, my dear lady. A breakthrough that will announce your God is coming to your life. A breakthrough that will announce your God is coming to your life. A breakthrough that will wipe your tears is coming to your life. It looks late. As the Bible says, her husband was probably, we don't know, maybe he was old. And she cried. Ah, Tadeda, Kondali, Makaba, Rikaba, Shandoli, Preketo, Rikababa, Hitorada, Hitavazi, Hitalada Matayada. Like Sal, like his mother, like Hannah, you have waited. Like Hannah, you have cried. Like Hannah, you have been labeled name in church. In church. In church. For they labeled her. They gave her a name. Are you the only one praying here? We don't know how she prayed. But I have a feeling when she was praying for that child, she was beating her chest that she doesn't want breasts to show off. She need a child. Nahide Kababa, Rekota, and the pastor thought she was drunk because she was abnormal on that day. She, she was about to have like a mental breakdown, he thought. But God stepped in. Let God arise. 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 Ha Deko Shotayada Rekosokabali Tendero Kabika Lozo Nayede 
Nabro kumbinde kande sontale bango zongala jale brono ziki tali brono zelarada nika pro zonti si tayi rekoro de kayara. There's a lady on the on the platform this morning. Your name is Binkwe. I don't know what you're trusting God for, but I, you will give birth to your Samuel. You give birth to your Samuel. You give birth to your Samuel. I heard the name clearly. And somebody else whose name is Clarice. 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 Whoever Clarice is. I hope I got it right. Clarice. Clarita. You give birth to your Samuel. 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 Ayana na ba ba ba, ira ba 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 ba. Rocha se ke prosun delisha ida riba kada lira no son kaira. Zaro ro zari si ali tonda. In Jesus name, in the name of, of Jesus. Psalm thirty three verse eighteen nineteen. Psalm thirty three verse eighteen nineteen. But the Lord watches over those who fear Him, those who rely on His unfailing love. I speak into your life this morning, the God who watches over, 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 He will intervene. He said, My eyes go to and fro to prove myself mighty on behalf of those who trust in me. This morning, as the Lord lives, Kaidesha, Niralush Mbrotia and Tilirosia Bari, Ratos Makate in Dorosia. They are waiting for you to be shamed and embarrassed, but the Lord is waiting to prove himself mighty in your life. Get ready, get ready. Nabalido, Tibarada, Marekita, Taredodo, Marigedo, Narigeba, Marudoshta, Irikeriba, Paronoski, Karinento, Lebrondi, Rakashki, Robaski, Talushka. Get ready. The Lord Himself. The Lord Himself. The Lord Himself. Ira ro shayera da da ro rosi. Ira ba 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 ba. Divine intervention. This morning I also pray for financial divine intervention in your life. Second Corinthians chapter nine verse ten. For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way He will provide and increase your resources, and then provide and produce a great harvest of generosity in you. I read it to you again. Get ready for financial intervention. Ah, God will intervene. You will not be put to shame. Ah, Nedida, Barakudo, Sebelia, Hinerodo, Talikabara, Hitali Raba. Second Corinthians chapter nine verse ten. For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer, bread to eat. In the same way he he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. The seed for the farmer, the bread for the eater, the seed for the farmer, the bread for the eater, it is God who provides. Some of us just want bread to eat. That is one season. Some of us want seed to sow. A long season. Whatever your need is this morning, there's going to be an intervention. Bread for the eater, seed for the sower. Bread for the eater, seed for the sower. Two kinds of people. One just wants a quick intervention with the bread that he will eat. But the other ones has a long-term vision for the seed that he will sow. Nati koka pika teso tapre tele dianda rano kosikia tale. Oh, glory to God! I saw somebody. They stretched out their hand to receive, and an invisible hand that was like huger, huger than your hand was pouring things in your hand, and whatever the huge, invisible hand had was bigger than your hand. Oh, glory to God. We used to sing a song a long time ago. Invisible hands are waiting to guide you. <laughs> I saw it clearly. Somebody get ready because you are going to have a strange intervention. Strange one. Strange intervention. Strange one. Strange intervention. Strange one. Akairo Kaliban. When you tell people what happened, 
they'll be looking at you like how did this happen kaka kukutote limarita rena kapa yene tonozia ratoso kame kitele reba ratolo sikitele reba kata ratoso kamparandoske andelishka yibara no divine intervention in your finances for god is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to the eater in the same way he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity to you in you <laughs> Talande Kalebia Rotalebara Hikayarabara Hirodia Seba Hirida Laraba Kadodo Hibarana Dodo Shkia Dadada Hikosalabara Dadado Sandilia Radadas Ande Laborosi Kiara Hira Baba Baba Hikosolera Baba Hetorosi in Jesus name Psalm 33 verse 19 still on your financial breakthrough because some of you are going through a valley period and you're wondering what is this thing something is going to change get ready it's going to be a divine intervention. Psalm 33, 19, he rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. The world is about to go through the worst crisis. COVID was to cause it, and then this man creates a war in Ukraine. My country, Nigeria, diesel used to be 160 naira. This week is somewhere between 800 and 900. You need to pray. <laughs> We're seeking for diesel so that we don't shut down morning glow. Can you believe that? Even with your 900, you're looking for it because people are hoarding. There is need for a breakthrough in your life. Just like that kind of farming. There are all kinds of farming. The farming of people having money and can't find it, not finding what to buy. And the famine of not having the money and the things are abounding. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. The famine will be over. 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 Hiri kariba, hiri dededa, hiri babaro, shani kaliba, tararosia, ayarabaro, kaleneriba. I declare and decree, you will have a testimony as the Lord lives. Mabo shukayada, ye karo koseke yaraba. The God of divine intervention will intervene in your life, will prove himself as a mighty God. He will silence the devil. He will shut the mouth of devils. He will prove himself as an awesome God. Nekate kosapa lushe kaye te kabaro no sante lebrado zonta yadere reko zira. Jesus name. Still on financial intervention and breakthrough. I don't know why. I'm just intense. And I'm even doing financial intervention in the evenings, but I'm doing it again this morning. Not just that, we pray divine intervention in all areas. Isaiah 9, verse 3. Isaiah 9, verse 3. He will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you as people rejoice as, at the harvest, and like warriors dividing the plunder. Oh my God. Somebody's turn around, is here. Just like warriors dividing the plunder. Just like the rejoicing in the days of harvest, somebody is going to rejoice this morning. Kalibo tayada, rika rika bazo, marite lojikia, taraba kazolia, erike raba tari, toramo sekiata, roka, kota, kepa, kosko, taligaba, koski aradi, navando, ronta liba, roda shkia dariba. Jesus! Intervene, 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 intervene. The Lord will intervene in your life. God will prove himself as a mighty God. He'll stretch his hand. He'll show himself. He'll show himself. He'll prove himself in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus. God will rise for you. God will show up for you. God will rise for you. 
God will show up for you. God will rise for you. God will show up for you. God will rise for you. God will show up for you. God will rise for you. God will show up for you. God will rise for you. God will show up for you. Eka, Marco, Teka, Leka, Rezo, Pate, Tambre, Toshke, Libra, Kosa, Etelereba, Karodorosi, Tarenebazi. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Marito Nuzia. Kaliboron Talia. Baroko Shekayeda Riba Rabaro Rodo Shekia Dada Bokosia Dandele Davasi. Ye co brandele to Candiria la Rababa. Ye Rabarote, Caliborosa, Calibarenta. Marota Libra Nose, Kita Libra Nosa. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for divine intervention for God to fight every arrow of darkness that is trying to attack you. Get ready. Psalm 7 verse 6. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Kadiba, talidosh, kaida. Every arrow of darkness that have been targeted at you, we break it, we destroy, 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 we break we destroy, we break it. Thank you, Jesus. Arise, O Lord, in anger. Stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice. Psalm 7, verse 6. Bring justice. Ta! Itushka. Somebody have looked down on you. They thought you are inadequate. You are insignificant. And they are more powerful. Let God arise. 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 Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. God will intervene in your business. God will intervene in your career. God will intervene in your ministry. God will intervene in your business, in your career, in your business, in your ministry, in your ministry. The hand of the Lord doing the miraculous, doing the awesome. Doing the miraculous, doing the awesome, doing the miraculous, doing the awesome, doing the miraculous, doing the awesome. Tata Tatoria, Mbale Doroka, Karida Barodo, Tari in the Marodo, Kayeta Rodosi, Tarida Barotoni Madekitor in Garigar in Gabarodos near Delia. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. E Kayarabosha, Ayeroda Dadasha. This morning, the Lord will fight your fight. Everything that have come against you by divine intervention, God silences it. Ezekiel 13, 14. Let's raise the battle against the hand of the enemy in divine intervention. Ezekiel 13, 14. I will break down your wall right to its foundation. Satan, are you hearing? This is the Lord speaking. I will break down your wall right to its foundation enemies of your pre of your peace and joy are they hearing because this is the law speaking i will break down your wall right to its foundation and when it falls it will crush you then you will know that i am the lord <laughs> every satanic wall erected to stop you invisible demonic satanic wall boundary lines you didn't even know existed we tear them down. Ah, that's why when you want to go beyond a certain place, there is a reaction. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God. Arise. There is a reaction because you are about to break out of this cycle and circle. You are about to break out of this cycle and circle. We break you out by the power of the living Christ. Wherever, whoever drew that line. Hear the word of the Lord, Ezekiel 13, 14. I will break down your wall right to its foundation. And when it falls, it will crush you. 
then you will know that I am the Lord. Zali mi tosa. Zale koshoye. Reko zante kapalo. Zota li kariba rondo zinkedi. Rado shetayaba. Rodaba kalero. Rita le radada. Rota kaka kaka kakuro natilin derikete rodo. Rato kabaka de roskiare talarendorin telereda. Hirida da 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 da. Rota li kamakati. Retolo sokayeba. Rai! Let God arise. 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 Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. He shall amount, he caradozi, he maradota, remoka, renito, prenosi, yanonta, radikia laba, runashideria, recozoroasa, yenimata lereda, hira da 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 da, hira bako sotaya. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. This day, things change for you. I declare and decree them that from today, things change for you. Yema kolaba, hira bakozo. Yene matoloza, yeroba kozote, rene mokateya, maroteli kizo, kalebo shikaya, hiraba koraba, hiro koshidia. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will testify. Somebody is on this altar today, I declare, you will testify. As the Lord lives, you will testify. As the hand of the Lord is at work, you will testify. As the glory of the Lord is at work, you will testify. Have tear down satanic walls, demonic things that have been lifted, that have been raised to stop you, to limit you. We break it down. <laughs> Male tonosia, the enemy is offended because God wants to prosper you, but the devil likes it or not, you will prosper. You will increase. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. We see earthly intervention. Earthly intervention. Let's use the war going on. If uh, the, the NATO and America did not get involved, Ukraine would be biscuits to be eaten in two minutes. By an evil system that is so not having any feeling. I, 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 but suddenly, because of intervention, there is a hand that intervenes in your life and everything changes. David said to Goliath, this day will you know that God exists in Israel. I will feed your flesh to the to birds. Kai in Osha. I pray for you today. God will intervene. Nalebo shayera bara hirodo sekiara roname koteleba rekolo zikeara rando rosa hereba tondoli keraba korame talerosha yenekiya teluka ba korono skiya taleraba. I prophesy to your life today that the breakthrough God will give you shall be perfect, a perfect intervention, a perfect one, a perfect one, a perfect one. A perfect one, not one kind. <laughs> Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. Let's, che let's check it. Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. A perfect breakthrough is coming your way. Now, la da 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 da. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your Mercy and loving kindness, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the work of your hand. Taros, a perfect one. Not a husband you have to be sponsoring. That is not perfect breakthrough. Finally, ah, finally, oh God has done it. He has given me a husband. And you are the one feeding him. He's staying home watching uh, DSTV in Africa or Sky in Europe. And you are the one paying everything is there you want to clean the house he lifts his legs so you can you can use the carpet cleaner very well under his feet is there morning noon and night and you are just the incubator for babies to give birth that is not a perfect breakthrough a perfect breakthrough is the breakthrough that brings you joy that takes away your pain all round not he brought one he took one pain and brought another one 
not a pain in the backside kind of breakthrough. The, the intervention of God is perfect. Ah, you see it and you say, God, you did all this for me. This, ah, whoever says there is no God is a fool. Reko <laughs> posiandiri. This morning, somebody is getting a perfect testimony. Someone is getting a perfect breakthrough. Someone is getting a perfect turnaround. Renato Siki and Somebody is getting the kind of breakthrough that will silence the devil, that will shut the mouth of lions. A perfect breakthrough. As the Lord lives, that is coming to your life. It 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 is coming to your life. The kind of one that 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 blesses your life. Everyone who has a skill and has no job receive a testimony. Everyone, woman who has a womb and there's no baby receive in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has shops, no goods. Ah. Finally, praise the Lord, you now open your shop, but no goods. Receive in the name of Jesus. Everyone who has a church, minister, and people are not there. Receive your breakthrough. Everyone who has a vision, but no provision. Receive your testimony. Everyone who has blessings in half measure, half this, half that, crooked way. There was a crooked man who had a who lived in a crooked house. He found a crooked sixpence on a crooked road. Ah! God delivers you from that in the name of Jesus. Perfect intervention. Perfect intervention. Listen. God doesn't want you to be a spiritual success, a financial failure. Spiritual success, SS, financial failure, FF. No. So that your children will not curse God. They will love God. That the God who took care of my, of my mommy and daddy and blessed them like this. He's deserving of worship. He asked me recently somewhere, why as a pastor I also do business. I told them the story that turned me around. I was still maybe in Bible school. Or just leaving Bible school. And I suffered in Bible school for lack of money. I heard of a preacher who died after 35 years of ministry. And his denomination, I think they probably bought him one cheap coffin. That's their contribution. And his sons were cursing his body. Ah, not my portion. Not my portion. I don't touch anything that belongs to KRCC. Nothing. Even though it's my vision and like i said somewhere yesterday brain child people should draw from their brain children but i release this as a seed to touch lives and trust god through my business to prosper me and through seed sown into my life but you see you can't be a spiritual success and a financial failure you should be able to bless your children and do well that is divine intervention receive I need to slow down because I'm still ministering again this morning when I finish. God doesn't want me to be a public success and a private failure. I receive divine intervention. Perfect breakthrough, perfect intervention is coming to your life. God doesn't want you to be a millionaire with disease ravaged life. Receive divine intervention. I'm going to close this morning a little early. God doesn't want you to receive a breakthrough that is not permanent. God's breakthroughs are permanent. He says, he says, for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, oh, I feel like getting up. You shall see no more forever. That is permanent. Not the one where they are coming back and forth you think you have won the victory and then the enemy rules decide again. Ah, no, 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 no. Lebango zonka yitali. Rebo roshe kaye de badi. Rota liba gaza lika liga doza. Ranon te balenke tolon pranike te rozi. Yina tapa koso kapaka talike babarata. Rato sikiata la makarodos. Permanent! Affliction shall not rise a second time. 
receive 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 your breakthrough this morning affliction shall not rise a second time your deliverance shall be permanent your promotion shall be permanent your miracle shall be permanent your favor shall be permanent your blessing shall be permanent your healing shall be permanent your your glory shall be permanent the turnaround in your life shall be permanent the intervention of god in your life shall be permanent it shall be permanent your prosperity shall be permanent your open heavens permanent your progress shall be permanent your new days of new things shall be permanent your 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 Fresh ideas coming from heaven shall be permanent, not zigzag, in, in and out, once in a while. Receive, 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 receive. Your breakthrough shall be permanent. Your testimony shall be permanent. Your, your interventions of God shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Your enlargement shall be permanent. Your resources shall be permanent. Your success shall be permanent. Your healing and health shall be permanent. The hand of the Lord will touch you. The hand of the Lord will deliver you. Your mercy experience shall be permanent. Your expansion to the left and right shall be permanent. The spread of the grace of God on your life shall be permanent. The hand of favor upon your life shall be permanent. Your achievement shall be permanent. Gladness will not cease in your house. God intervenes in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 A couple of announcements bring to this time on the morning glow to an end. I trust the Lord that you will be blessed. And to close 7 or 701 on the dot, Billy. Not beyond 7 or 701. I'm sure you were blessed. Sure, you are blessed. Praise the Lord. Today is Thursday. I'd like to invite you to join us, KSCC Nigeria, tomorrow night. Wherever you are around the world, as far as Austria to Curacao to Australia, join us tomorrow night. It's going to be a power night. Healings will be done, miracles will be done. There's this presence of God that's always in that power night in Maryland, KSCC. We believe God for even greater one tomorrow night. Why not? Let's take this intervention into tomorrow night. Except I hear differently. Tomorrow night will also be intervention. It's going to be intense. And then we we'll believe we have a prophetic word from above. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Then Friday, we have morning glow before that Sunday night. Before that Friday night. So, for those of you who want evening glow I think the best thing would be that we'll run evening glow but we then have the evening in KRCC so you will choose which one you want to connect to uh, I'll do both you see I was you'll be amazed we'll do both do both all right and then Saturday the wealth master class is one of the most powerful you should ever ever not miss I'll be teaching land oh boy somebody's life is gonna just totally 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 change you need to secure your financial future by your ownership of land land never dies land is forever land stays with you when everything is gone land is in your family land is what society wants land is uh, is, is that which gives you power, gives you voice, makes you a voice in your country. You know, land is a tangible investment. The ownership of land gives you equity. Land is potential inheritance. Shares can be wiped out. Uh, uh, this coin, whatever coin, what is the name? Bitcoin. I've just lost $100 billion. Oh lost value but i think more than that i think I, I don't i didn't get the figure right it's more than that people have seen their money wiped out land never moves rather it appreciates even where you don't cut the grass the land still appreciates 
Ownership of land gives you power. That is why most time when God enters covenant with people, he, he signs a covenant with land. He entered covenant with Adam, Adamic covenant, he gave him land. He signed covenant with Noah, he gave him land. He signed covenant with Abraham, he gave him land. So make sure you join us. Sunday is going to be an awesome time. We will be blessed in live class. We're sharing on tongues of fire. You need to know more about the Holy Spirit and the importance of praying in the language of the Holy Ghost. 11 a.m. service will be awesome. It will be powerful. It will bless you. Your life will never be the same. Make sure you join us for those services. It's going to be so great. It's going to be so powerful. Tomorrow morning, we'll be having the communion, so make sure you don't miss it. The Lord bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you. Bless your going out, give you peace at all times. You will always be above. You will never be below. You will always be successful, winning, never losing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please make sure you reach out to friends, to people. This season, up to July 31st, we are drawing 10 people. 10 people for 100 days. 10 people. Don't stay silent. Be a soul winner. Reach out to people. Touch their life. The glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Minister to them. Pull them in. Let them come to know the Lord. Praise the Lord. We close this morning also by challenging you. Remember again uh, the Wealth Masterclass has a program for women. On the 2nd of July, it's going to be an amazing, amazing web seminar. I mean, webinar. You need to know how to create wealth as a woman. We've taught why. This time we're teaching the how. But with the how, we're asking you to pay. It can't be anywhere near the value of what you'll get. People's lives are going to be transformed. And you are the next on the line. Women working in wealth. We're teaching about 100 points. You need to come transform your mind. You need to break out of limitation to new seasons. The Lord bless you richly this morning. Dio te vu benis. Dio te bendiga. Dio te bensoi. Buana kubariki. Nyami shrawai. Mwariba kukombarere. Iwa mozita. Rajesu. Nkulunkulu. Agubu says. Thank you very much. God bless you. Do you need a prophetic word that address your situation right now? Do you desire a supernatural encounter with the destiny changer? The time has come to join Pastor Matthew Ashimolo for Power Night Service, a night of prophetic declaration. Come believing to receive a better end to financial hardship, unemployment, singleness, health issues and much more. As wonders will not cease and the miraculous will happen, invite your friends, families and colleagues to attend the monthly Power Night service. There will be anointing for breakthrough with special ministration to individuals. Ministering in songs, Chris Ubana. Come Friday, 10th of June from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at KICC Prayer Dome, 13 Okilane, Mende, Maryland, Lagos. For more information, call 0805-605-2300. Power Night, a night of prophetic declaration.